Amen. All right. Turn with me, please, in your Bibles to the book of Psalm 67. Glory be to God. Psalm 67 from verse 5 to 7. Psalm 67 from verse 5 to 7. I read, the Bible says, Let the people, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. And we are blessed by the reading of God's word. I'm sharing with you briefly on a message I have titled, Praise for Fruitfulness. Praise for fruitfulness. God wants you to be fruitful. But the mystery in the kingdom of God to become fruitful is in praise. That's why the Bible says that let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. And then look at what happens when we praise him. It says, then the earth shall yield her increase. When we praise God, then he causes the earth to yield increase for us. So he said, let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. Amen. So that means until you praise God, your earth will not yield increase. What is your work? Your earth. Your earth could be your profession, your career, your education, your business. That is what happens when you praise God. So whenever you praise God, your business begins to increase. Your finances begins to increase. Your career begins to increase. You begin to have promotions at work because when you praise God, the Bible says that then the earth shall yield her increase. That means the earth has been waiting all this while to yield increase for you, but until you praise God, the earth shall not yield increase for you. Are you following what I'm saying? So when we praise God, the Bible not only said that the earth will yield increase for us, it says God, our own God, shall bless us. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. I prophesy to someone that this year, as you praise God, all the ends of the earth will see the blessings of the Lord upon you in the name of Jesus. Write this down. God wants us to be fruitful, but one of the factors that speeds up our fruitfulness is praise. God wants us to be fruitful. But one of the factors that speeds up our fruitfulness is the mystery of praise. So in Genesis chapter 41 verse 52, the Bible says that in the name of the second, this is talking about Joseph, and the name of the second he called Ephraim. For he said, for God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. How did Joseph become fruitful in the land of his affliction? It was through praise. It was through praise. When you praise God in your land of affliction, God causes you to be fruitful. And in the name of Jesus, I prophesy that someone will be fruitful in this season in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 49, verse 22, the Bible says that Joseph is a fruitful bull. 
a fruitful bow by a well. That well represents praise. A well of praise. A well of praise. As you, as you are planted by the well of praise, the Bible says that his branches runs over the wall. That means anything the devil puts as a limitation is broken off. Through praise, every time you praise God, every wall of containment, every wall of limitation that the devil sets around you, guess what? You go over it. You go over it. You go over it. And in the name of Jesus, I prophesy that this commission, our branches will go over walls this year in the name of Jesus. On every day, Day on a daily basis, every day, our branches will be going over walls. Why? Because we've caught the mystery of praise. Glory be to God. So Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God wants us to be fruitful. That's why we are praising God to be fruitful. Genesis 1 28, the Bible says that then God said, let us make man in our own image after our own likeness, according to our own likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over the all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And look at verse 28. The Bible says that, Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be fruitful. But the mystery, the key to being fruitful is what is revealed to us in Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7. That's a mystery. The key to becoming fruitful is in praise. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase, and our God, our own God, shall bless us. This year, God will bless you. I said this year God will bless you. God will bless the works of your hands. God will bless everything that your hand touches in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Because our God will bless us. Say a good amen to that. I said our God shall bless us. I said our God shall bless us. This year everything your hand touches, God will bless it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything your hand touches this year will be blessed. Because the God that we serve, he is a God who blesses us. He wants your family to be blessed, your children to be blessed, your business to be blessed, your career to be blessed. But the secret is in praise. Some of you, this week, you need to set a time of praise with God. A time of just praising God. I don't know what situation you are facing. Put that situation before God. Have a time of praise. A one hour time of praise. And begin to see God glorify his name in your life. Genesis chapter 9 verse 1. The Bible says that. And God blessed Noah and his sons. And said to them. Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. So God's intention is for us to be fruitful. And the only way we are going to be fruitful is through praise. And so after I finish this message in the next five minutes, Pastor Zama is going to come and lead us in a time of praise. And as she's leading us in a time of praise, it is your responsibility to praise God. Don't just be a spectator. In your house, begin to praise God. Concerning that situation, begin to praise God. If it's even in the area of believing God for healing, begin to praise God. And you begin to see sicknesses and diseases fall off because God is still in the business of healing us today. 
Genesis chapter 17 verse 6 the Bible says that God said to Abraham I will make thee exceedingly fruitful oh I claim that for myself I will make you an exceedingly fruitful and I will make you I'll make nations of you and kings will come from you so you see there are dimensions in fruitfulness are you following what I'm saying? There are dimensions in fruitfulness. There is the exceedingly fruitful dimension. The exceedingly fruitful dimension. And that is the dimension you are coming into. I said that is the dimension you are coming into. So therefore receive grace to enter into the dimension of exceedingly fruitful. You will be exceedingly fruitful. Amen. This commission will be exceedingly fruitful. Everything our hand touches from henceforth will be exceedingly fruitful Amen. in the name of Jesus. So it's time to praise God. It's time to praise him. Praise him like never before. Put God to the test and see what God will do in your life. Finally, Psalm 22, verse 3. Psalm 22, verse 3. Why is praise so important? Because, you see, the Bible tells us that God is holy. And the only place he's enthroned in is in the praises of Israel. Hallelujah. God, he is enthroned in our praises. Tonight, as you praise God, God will come and tabernacle. He will come and enthrone himself in that situation and you'll have the victory. I prophesy to somebody watching right now that in the name of Jesus, you'll have the victory. I said you will have the victory. Just put God to the test. Just praise God tonight for the next 15 to 20 minutes that we have the time of praise just praise God and see if the Holy Spirit will not envelop your house and see if God will not take charge of your house and turn things around for you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus because whenever we praise God God inhabits the praises of his people in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Well, if you're watching for the first time and you're not born again, you can't praise a God that you don't know. I'd like to pray for you. If you're watching and you're not born again, you haven't given your life to Jesus. And if you die today, you don't know where you will end. I'd like to pray for you. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I come to you just as I am. Forgive me of my sins. Write my name in your book of life. May I serve you all the days of my life. From today, I have decided to follow you. No turning back. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you said that prayer, you're born again, you're a child of God, you're a new creation. I want you to go to our website. There'll be details shown on how to get in touch. Get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you to establish, to strengthen your relationship with God. I'm not inviting you to a church. I'm inviting you to a relationship with Jesus. For without him, You and I cannot survive in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you. God bless you. Let's prepare our hearts for a time of awesome.